practice been like the last couple of days in the wake of the targeting hit? Have you guys had to change how you go about it or reemphasize the rule at all? Uh, obviously, yes. You know, the guys have to be educated and um, instantaneous reactions are, are almost impossible to control. It's the deliberate uh, hits that we can't afford to have ever. Um, the other things, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I can't control that. But yeah, we have to continually uh, be aware of it. Do you get a sense of maybe this, uh, hitting an ejection like that shakes someone in a sense now they're playing a little more timid? No, I don't think so. No, I just think that um, they'll be more con aware of it, especially that particular one. That's a, you know, that's something that no one went over. Hey, if a quarterback slides, make sure you don't what? No one ever said that. So it happened, and now everyone in probably across the country is going to look at it and go, the minute that quarterback gets into any kind of position of slowing down, leave him alone. Leave him alone. That's a good rule. It's a good rule. It makes sense. Is that something you can practice here? No. No. I think, no. No. It's if he slides, no. It's like, you know, we can't, we can't create so many of these little situations and sometimes unfortunately they just happen and then we react to them we try to coach them a little bit better things like that but um, uh, it is a big awareness and, and I think that it'll eventually uh, not be an issue anymore. Now the rule started in the NFL to protect slow plotting quarterbacks to get out of the pocket. Right. <laughs> now it's in college where most quarterbacks are capable of running so if a defender is breaking down and think I can't, I can't launch, I don't know if this guy's going to slide for the last That's second. Great That's a great point. Really you, you answered the question because it's a great point. I don't, know how to, I don't know how to coach that. We're going to coach making sure we tackle people like Michael Vick and, and the people of the guy at Virginia can run. He's a good football player that can run. We've got to tackle him. And if he slides down, then we have to react properly and make sure we don't uh, do anything that's over the top. And they're going to protect all players, not just quarterbacks. How's Ter Terrence responded in practice? He's fine. Absolutely. He's fine then, after. It's kind of like, like anything. It's kind of like, really? A little bit of a shock in a sense. But, you know, let's go move on. It seemed like after he got tossed out, they went after Troy a little bit. They got him on a PI and they threw deep on him. How would you feel like he responded? Troy? Yeah. Troy's the Iron Man. Yeah. You beat Troy ten times in a row, and he'll think that he'll make the next play, sure. which is a great mentality to have in, in the position I coach. And, um, that second play was not Troy, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, oh, it was partly, but we had a free defender that did the wrong thing, unfortunately. Yeah. I was a lot more upset at the free defender that should have been waiting for the ball to be thrown to him. Mm -hmm. There was no one else left on the field, so that was unfortunate. In fall camp, the guys who surround him, Troy that is, said that he's good enough to start on most teams in the country. Yeah, start what, for, he started for us before. You know, he's this? been a starter. Is he different, a different kind of cornerback than Terrence no. Rebo is in any way? No, I just think that it's really close. And we play so much 5 DB stuff and he comes in that in my mind and his is he is a, a starter for us. So he has to play that way and think that way. And I try to get all my guys to try to think that way. If I'm starting on the kickoff team, I'm a starter. I have to have the same mentality. It shouldn't change by when I go into the game. That's part of the process and the things, you know, we. We talk about process and win the day and things like that. They're real. Sure. And we have to continually fall back on those kind of laws that we've made in order to control um, some of the things that could come up if you don't have a system that allows you to do the right thing all the time, regardless of what, when you're going in or what your role is. You've got to be ready when the time comes.